Tom Mufflestick, and welcome back to The Waystone, Season 3, Episode 38. I've been gallivanting around the Mead Tower. I thought I'd stop in my office because I haven't been here since the episode I built it. And I haven't done anything in here. Yeah, I was going to use it for business contracts, I was going to use it for meetings, but never got around to it. I was wanting to get a big slice of the pie, the monopoly on the server, MRAPs. Oh, he's going to hook me up. I was going to attract him in my office, but like, man, look at some of these papers. We could be making some insane profits, me and Neil Mouse. But yeah, that never fell through. And, you know, I was just looking for stuff to buy. I was going to see if there's anything new in the Me Tower. And I just haven't visited it in maybe a few weeks or so. Nothing on these floors. Uh, these eventually were going to be all filled up. Like this is going to have banners, papers, books, anything in between. And since the last episode, I have done a lot of off-camera work. This is the bottom floor. i done a lot of off-camera work that I was going to show you guys. I had done in my base, and I finished the nether tunnel, the foundation of it. And that's what we're going to be focusing on today's episode. I want to get it decorated, make it look nice. So let's head over and look at the nether tunnel first. I suppose it's time to shatter your expectations and say this doesn't look overly impressive. I mean, it's just the foundation. I'm going to be doing the details today, like dropping the ceiling, making that look more shaggy and authentic, spacing out some columns, and implementing a lighting system, because the nether is a dark, dismal place. It's not fun without light. Oh, yeah, that looks ugly right now. I'm hoping we can get that fixed soon, but I ended off the main tunnel at this point, the point where we were getting to the other biomes, like the Mesa biome, the Guardian Farm, and Kane's and Thunder Gaming space. Since they are gone from the server, I didn't really want to continue this far, but I did anyways. And I even covered their tunnels up with packed eyes. We've got the end tunnel. Now, Nergath, I think his last episode had done the decoration for the Guardian Farm tunnel. This looks really cool. Looks really awesome. And I believe, is that gray concrete? Oh yeah, that looks really good. That fits in with the blues and the sandstone contrast. Wow, good job, Nergath. I'm impressed with this. And here's the Mesa Biome Tunnel. Packed it with ice. I had a lot of time to kill that day. And I just done a lot of off-camera projects. It was really nice because I'm used to recording that kind of stuff. This goes to Thunder Gaming and Keynes' base. So next stream, Keynes is like, hey, you should run over to my base and check out my pink town. I could just be there in a jiffy. I'll get on a boat and drive there. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I'm glad to have that done and out of the way. The foundation is the hardest part. Because I had done this all myself. The main tunnel, all of the stone brick. Of course, I had a decent supply from M. Rouse. He had a bunch of the meat tower for sale, and I picked up a few shulker boxes. But oh boy. <laughs> it was still a lot of placing, and I'm just glad to have that over with now for the finishing part. And once we get this done, the nether tunnel will be complete. What? I, I, it's hard to even imagine. Another thing hard to imagine, I actually ran a test of my nether wart farm. Completely filled up, every nether wart grown, and this is my results. It's about a double chest, and it got the same in this chest, but I had taken some out to replant. Not terrible, about a double chest and a half. I mean, that's decent production for nether wart blocks. And we've got maintenance hatches, leading into multiple areas that I cannot access from the outside. For example, my super smelter would be a good thing to go through just real quick. I'm not going to be decorating these tunnels. They're just here for really rough access. I mean, when you're a maintenance man, you've got to get dirty, right? So just in case one of these mine carts gets stuck or something, I could come in here. I wouldn't have to break glass and worry about forgetting it because that's normally what I do. It's hard to see glass when it's broken, especially when you have this repeating pattern. Oh, it's nice. We'll, we'll go through real quick. I'll show you all the different ones I have. I even put an iron trap door so it blend into the floor. I'm quite proud of this little thing. I managed to get every corner filled in so we wouldn't have any of these spaces missed out. There was one that I couldn't figure out, so I had to put this. I don't know. It's just like a little access station, but we've got like the ravine and mine access. We've got the spider farm, which I had blocked that tunnel up because it just looked really janky. Uh, sugarcane farm. This is like the size of the sugarcane. Here's even the collection system for the spider farm. The slime farm platform access. We can check this one out real quick. And I need to get a rolling on today's project. I don't need to banter too long. But yeah, just, you know, quick platform access. I think I even made some access points 
like if you go on this tunnel next to this one, you could still access the slime platforms. Yeah, done a lot of work in the background and it's really satisfying to have these because I hate digging down into my farms and having to replace everything. And it just looks cool. I love maintenance hatches. Something else I done off camera, but we're gonna keep this one hush hush. Thankfully, we didn't have to do a lot of mining. Everything was in arm's reach. So I just swooped over to the guardian farm, stole a bunch of these. I've got a bunch of jungle wood I'm gonna be using since we have a bunch of that in abundance for the jungle spawn. I've got a bunch of jungle leaves, stone brick, anything that you could ask for when it comes to a jungle temple sort of tunnel. And this is the style I was wanting to go for. I had ran into the problem of the columns lining up. It'd be like two sea lanterns and it'd just be a little bit pointless to have those together because it would look bad. So what I'm gonna do is divide these up. So, so far down, I think this one, I'm going to extend over this way. I'm marking where the other columns are going. It's gonna be on this side and they're gonna transition back and forth. Of course, everything won't be completely lit up but I like my nether tunnels somewhat sporadic when it comes to lighting because it just gives it a certain mood and it's not going to change any spawning or anything. Llama Freak kind of made a good point about the nether hub needing some more lighting. So definitely going to be bringing that into the fray. Now I guess all that's left to do is roll a time lapse of getting this boring part done. Ho oh, ho. I'm going to be burned out on Minecraft when this is done. During the process of this project, I remembered I don't like recording nether tunnel building. It is so boring. It's so straightforward. But I have gotten a little bit in. I've got all the columns in up to the end tunnel and the leaves. Oh boy. Those are a different story. I got a little bit of a waste, but this is very time consuming and it requires a lot of leaves to do it properly. And I had to build up a lot to adjust the different because I want it to be a little bit more bushy on the sides and then in the center have it a little bit more cleared, but it's hard to make it look natural. I mean, it's very difficult to make it look natural on this amount of space and keeping the consistency of it. So the reason I didn't really want it coming down in the middle because it would block the sea lanterns and I think the sea lanterns inside the green looks really cool, looks almost magical in a way. And something else to point out about this tunnel, we always fly through here and this doesn't seem to interfere with our flight. I mean, if we went up too high, maybe we might run into a chicken. Hi. <laughs> Zombie pigman must have been here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this looks really cool. It doesn't interfere with your flight. See, it goes very far. And surprisingly enough, the columns didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. Ooh, I missed a nether rat. Yeah, it didn't take as long as I thought because we're doing like the 20 block spaces to space them out and it just went by really fast now when it came to the leaves i started recording the time lapse and i was like i don't have enough leaves to do this and it's going to take me a very long time to get all these leaves like lined up the way i want them to till i get to the end of the tunnel i mean it's a lot of work but it's worth it but i feel like it's something i want to do off camera because this is extremely boring and i don't want the episode to completely depend on it at least we got most of the foundation work done in the tunnel itself just so that we could see what it looks like in the near future. I'm hoping to get this done before the season ends. It's coming rather soon. The nether tunnel was the main project for this episode, so I thought I'd come over and gander around spawn just to make sure everything's clear. And this presents an awesome opportunity to discuss things happening in the background of the waystone. 
a previous clip I had mentioned that we're going to be moving off season three soon and heading over to season four. And this is due to the 1.13 update. And believe it or not, season three is very close to this one year anniversary. That's crazy to think, isn't it? I mean, we have come a long ways. If we were just to take a fly over spawn, look how much has been done within a year. And this is only a small piece of the pie. Several people coming together, you know, on average, like eight to 10 people normally. I mean, this is just a small piece. There's so many more things that you haven't seen on recording that's hidden and tucked away in corners like lifters base and rabbit wars. We haven't seen that one in a while. And of course the modern district that will probably not be complete, but still a really fascinating thing. It's crazy how far we've come. I mean, we put so much work to this world. We stapled down we said, yeah, we're going to do this for a year. We're going to try to make it to the year marker and we're close enough. You know, 1.13 coming out with exciting things. That's going to introduce some new exciting people to watch on YouTube. That will hopefully join us for season four. Oh boy, that was my favorite part. You know, meet and rabbit roars and lifter and thunder gaming and just all kinds of different people like TG, like all kinds of people just coming over and having a good time. It was a great season. Uh, might be a little bit laggy on OBS, so I do apologize if you're seeing some skips of frames. For some reason, like this server has been kind of stressing out my OBS. It's, it's funny, I say that as soon, oh no, no, no. I'm not gonna be the one to blow up this guardian, this beautiful guardian. Get me out of here, I am trapped in this corner. Uh, but, you know, season three is around the bend still. So, you know, we're not done with it yet. I wanna finish those projects. Um, I might wanna clean up the hive. I mean, I feel like I've pretty much completed the hive as far as I wanna go with it, because if I done anything outside, it would take a lot of effort to get it where I want it to be exactly what I envision it to be. Uh, we're clear on the iron shop too. So season four is going to be filled with new and exciting things. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, we've spent it long enough on here for sure. I mean, it feels like forever ago that we started season three and that's the great thing about season four. We're going to have that return of excitement. Oh, it's going to be great. But there we go. That pretty much completes the spawn run. Time to investigate something just as cool as my elytra parkouring. It seems like I was making some awesome landings in that last clip. But yeah, we're at Naragath's base. I was going to see what his source of nether wart looks like because we have made that farm the last episode. And I was just wondering what's Naragath set up? I mean, I've seen the beginnings of this farm, but I didn't see the full thing. Oh, it's got it all nice and laid out. So this goes downwards and gathers more another wart below. Let's see if we can find a maintenance hatch because it's behind this wall. I wonder if we could just sneak a couple of blocks out right here. There we are. Ooh, this is pretty. It's a humble, modest farm, or that could be bigger. I'm not sure. It doesn't look very big. Surely has like a maintenance hatch access somewhere over here. Oh, there's the storage system. <laughs> That's a huge storage system there, Gath. Wow, man, you must be just like raining nether wart at this point. Oh, fancy smancy. Nergath seems to be the one person I go to whenever I want to discuss redstone things. Like if I'm having an issue, I'll be like, Nergath, do you know anything about this? Uh, Lifter used to be the person I went to, but he had recently left the waystone. He started becoming somewhat inactive whenever Nergath joined, so... Nergath is my handy repairman all of the time. 90% of the time, I'm like, Nergath, man, help me out with this. I'm stupid. <laughs> and of course, you know, Nergath comes over with his handyman bag. He's an engineer, so that's why I like to call him anyways. There's one more thing I was really wanting to check out. It's at Cornelia's place, and I'm pretty sure it's called Cat Mountain. That doesn't sound enticing. I don't know what does. Canelius Island's really shaping up nicely. There's a lot of structures popping up in the island, and for one person to be working on these projects, it's a lot. And I have spotted Frim's Mountain. <laughs> I can't even look at it without laughing, like... <laughs> look at this. <laughs> oh no. I mean, that just shows you how far Canelia would go to just show some irony or sarcasm. The Cat Mountain is like, that's got to be one of my favorite builds on the server. 
Look at how many cats go. <laughs> this is awesome. Frimp would love this place. He would just settle here with his brethren. He would be happy for the rest of his days. No wonder you're so isolated. You have so many friends and feline form. Now I know it's been an uneventful episode and somewhat boring, but I am glad that we got some foundation work done in the nether tunnel. And I really wanted to show you the design process behind that and what I was going for. But don't worry, I'm going to be placing leaf blocks in my own time. You don't have to worry about watching me place one single block. But I think that's going to be about it for today's episode, guys. Hope you enjoy watching. We'll see you next episode. You have a fantastic day. Love you.